hope they could learn a lot from us today. We tried to give them as much as info as we could to, to really just enjoy the game. It's not always about the swing, it's learning different kinds of shots, especially being from Scotland. You know, it's not necessarily having the perfect swing, it's about adapting to the weather, low shots, high shots. Um, I think learning in that way, just seeing shots, playing, playing different shots, um, the same kind of shot with a 9-iron to a 7-iron with a 60-degree wedge. You know, you can do all these shots with different, different clubs and I think it's very good to learn that way. It's brilliant because obviously it's so great to see more and more girls get involved in, in golf and it was always very few when I was growing up and playing. I was always playing against boys or a lot older girls and ladies. So it's very nice to see so many girls out here today trying to learn and become golfers themselves and I think it's, it's really good to see that, especially here in Scotland. I think it's all about giving them opportunities with tournaments and different days to days like this, you know, where they can come and try and learn something and play with girls and even playing against the boys because you know, boys hate girls beating them and girls love to beat the boys. That's always what I knew growing up. So I think just making sure they're able to get involved enough and giving them enough opportunity to, to get to the highest level in golf. When you're playing, playing good golf, it's obviously the best thing in the world. But there is times, all of us professionals know that there is a downtime where you, know, you might not be playing your best, you're traveling week after week, maybe missing cuts. And it's hard, it's hard to keep you know, feeling motivated and happy. So I think you know, if you can find a way to make golf enjoyable, whether you play good or bad, it's, it's, you're going to be playing golf for a very long time.